A lot of people, when they are working, when they are younger, they put a lot of money to their retirement company because all financial planners all talk about it. Maximize your 401k, maximize your retirement plan, which is good. You need that deduction when you're younger. But if you don't do anything about it, in the future, they might come back to hunt you. Last time we talked about the second half of your life tax plan. We talked about you have social security as an income, your investment income is income, your annuity, your also your rental income, all income. But a lot of people forgot they have another major income coming from their retirement plan. Majority of the professional engineer, they love 401k plans. When they retire, average have at least 1 million or more in their retirement plan husband, wife, together, they have about two to seven million dollars range. This is typically what I see from the people maximum using their 401k plan. But remember, all the money you withdraw from the retirement plan is taxable. When you retire, a lot of people, because they have other sources of income, so they don't want to withdraw money from the retirement plan. Government knows about it. That's why government set up something called RMD, Require Minimum Distribution. If you're born before 1960, your RMD age is 73. What does that mean? By the time you reach 73, you must withdraw certain percentage from your retirement plan. But if you're born 1960 or after your new RMD age, it's gonna be 75. If you're still working for a company, not by yourself, if company have 401k plan or 403 plan, you can delay a little bit more until you retire. Otherwise, you have to start taking money from a required minimum distribution. This only apply to pre-tax dollar. Don't apply to Roth IRA, don't reply to any after-tax annuity or other money. Only apply to pre-tax dollar because government never have a chance to tax you yet. Why they gonna have a big impact to me? According to the rule, if you retire ready, no matter how many IRAs you have, you consider all the IRAs as a one. So you add all your pre-tax dollar together, consider total amount, then divide by a certain factor. The answer is how much you have to get up from your retirement plan. You can take a look. This is what we call RMD table. We have the age list over here. Then we have factors here. Then convert to percentage. If husband and wife have a $2 million when they retire 65, if they have other income, will they touch it? If they don't touch it, the money will continue to grow in the equity market. By the time 73 years old, 2 million maybe grow to 3 million. First year, 73 years old, the percentage only 3.77%. No big deal. Maybe it's 100,000. That hurt, but it won't kill you. From the 73 to 80, the percentage are small. So even age 80, it become like a 4.95%, close to 5%. But the prominent, will they continue to grow? So your three and a half million grow to five million by the time when you reach 80 years old. 5% of five million is quarter million dollars. That become a little serious. When you continue to grow, five million, six million, seven million, by the time you reach 90 years old, husband and wife, you have a $7 million in their retirement plan with 8.2% by the time you reach 90 years old. It's more than half a million dollars already. Would that have a big impact on your tax situation? In this stage, you might even have to pay more because social security is taxable, your bank interest is taxable, your rent income is taxable, investment is taxable. Now, R&D also taxable. By the time 100 years old, wow, if you have a seven, eight million dollars, it's close to a million dollars just for RMD. Is RMD an issue?